Hi, ladies. Pat Eaton, Rob, with the Associated Press. Tahina, maybe you could answer, answer this first. Same question I asked your coach. I understand you guys are focused on the next game, but you're, you're four games away from doing something only. You know, you'd be the fifth school in the country to ever go undefeated. How much would that mean to you? How much do you guys are, are aware of that? And how much pressure are you putting on yourselves to complete this season the way you want to? Yeah, no, we've had a great season so far. Um, we're really excited. We have been looking forward to the next four games, but as you said, we're um, taking one game at a time. And I think we'd be very proud of ourselves for our journey so far. Not a lot of uh, teams have done this before. So just being able to be the fifth team to, you know, win the whole thing, go undefeated, it's, it's something that says a lot to our program and to the culture that coach has built. And um, there's no really no pressure at all. We just uh, keep being who we are, keep playing with a, you know, a chip on our shoulder and just play freely. That's how she uh, coaches us. And we're going to keep doing that. And we're just really excited to get, get it going. Hey guys, Claire Hanna with TSN. Um, when Coach Staley was just up here, she said after you guys won or, or, um, the SEC tournament that she heard some conversations she'd never heard from you guys, just thinking more to the future. And she was like, it's just about Presbyterian now. Was there a moment when she guys spoke to you and was like honing it in on just focusing on the next opponent? And that's for both of you. Uh, she spoke to us a couple of times because we were talking about the future, um, talking about uh, the championship game and all this, but she just had to get our minds straight because we need to take one game at a time because at the end of the day, it could be our last game. It's not going to be, but um, we can't look in the future too far. Um, yeah, she did mention that. Um, <laughs> you know, we were talking about like, hey, we have six games left, but you know, at the same time, it's like, hey, we got to take one game at a time because it's that part of the season where it's like, you either win or go home, and I know that we definitely don't want to go home. So we're going to take one game, and we're going to play like it, like it's our last. Mark Singles from the Albany Times Union for both players. What kind of challenges does Indiana present, particularly with that inside-outside combination of uh, Holmes and Scalia? Let's start with Chloe. Um, they have a really good high-low game, so we just need to um, be able to try and take that away. And they also have shooters, and they move well. So we just got to lock in on defense, and um, Coach will put us in a good situation. And um, we have had a couple good practices, and um, we're ready for them. Yeah, she said that they have a really good inside-outside game. So we're, we as guards going to have to do our job at guarding perimeter and, you know, trusting our posts that they'll, you know, lock down homes and do what they can. And at the end of the game, we just, or at the end of the day, we just got to play team defense and, um, you know, stop Scalia, obviously, and then stop their next, you know, leading scorer and um, just play team defense and lock in. Sure, Chloe, maybe you could start with this one's Pat from the Associated Press again. Um, whenever a team like you is running through a season, obviously the, the, the neutral fans tend to root for the for the underdogs, do you guys kind of relish the role of wearing the black hats when you go into a, to arenas and being the team that everyone wants to shoot down? Either of you can start on that. Okay. Um, you know, we just come in the gym, you know. We're going to um, come in the gym wanting to compete, wanting to win, and if that's who we got to be, that's who we're going to be. And they can paint us to whoever, you know, they want to be, but at the end of the day, it's whoever wins the game is a winner. So we're just going to come into every gym with the mindset that we're going to win. And um, it's either win or go home, and I know we definitely don't want to go home. Chloe? Yeah, and we're not really worried about, like, outside talk. We're just kind of um, all together, and we keep stuff in between our team. We're a big family, so we don't really worry about what, any other, what anybody else says about us. Com for oh, can you start again with Andrea the Andrea Adelson with ESPN.com for Chloe. You guys were undefeated at this point last season as well and obviously came up just a little short. I'm wondering for the returning players, lessons learned from last season that can help you guys now um, headed into this run? Um, well, last year was heartbreaking losing that game and we, the people who were here last year, we feel that. Um, we still kind of feel that, and we don't ever want to feel like that again. So we just, just we try not to think about that game because we haven't. Um, the girls, the new girls, they weren't there, so we kind of threw that under the bus, and we're just worried about the future. And uh, we know just we just want to win so bad, and it just makes us want it more. Um, yeah. Tahina, we'll start with you. Talk to, to this group here, uh, media in this area as well, about the impact that Coach Staley has had on you on and off the court. We'll start with Tahina. 
Um, wow, she's had a great impact on my life, um, on and off the court. On the court, she's a mastermind on the basketball court, and she knows what she's doing, obviously. Um, she's been in this for quite a while. Um, <laughs> one of the icons in the game, and she's just been helping me as a point guard, just make the right reads and, you know, having, giving me confidence um, on the court. And off the court, she just teaches discipline. And, you know, she's all about discipline and the standard. And that's helped me grow as a woman. And I really appreciate her for that. And, you know, the jo obviously the job's not done. And I'm just really um, grateful to have her in my cor corner. Chloe? Uh, she's helped me a lot, uh, especially last year coming in halfway. Uh, I was young, and it was really hard for me. So just being able to go to her in her office and talk to her uh, every day just helped me so much on the court, just confidence-wise. Um, it's just been such a big difference. And then off the court, I've been she's been teaching me to mature and grow up because uh, that's what I need to do. So she's been helping me with that a lot. And um, she's just someone I look up to, um, especially when I was younger, I always looked up to her. So um, being around her, I just try and ask as much questions as I can and um, try to get everything I can from her while I'm here. One more, right here. Tahina, this seems to kind of be the year of the guard in, in college basketball. Why do you think there's such a crop of amazing talent across the country? Was it something you guys were watching growing up? Was it, um, in, you know, just the, the position itself and, and how it's grown? Or why do you think there's so much focus on, on guard play this season? I think there's so much focus on guard play season because there's so many guards this year. Um, there's actually really good guards this year. You know, um, when I was little, I used to watch a lot of basketball, and there was a lot of big guards, big wings. And nowadays, it's a lot of guards who are, you know, really shifty or like, you know, play with a lot of flair, a lot of spice. And I think that's what a lot of people have been lurking, looking towards the women's games, is how much spice they can bring, how much flavor they can bring to the game. And I thought, you know, one of our guards, Lay, she's a prime example of that, and she's only going to grow from here. And She's one of those guards that play with, you know, spice and flavor. You know, she's lay with the butter. Mm -hmm. So obviously there's going to be a lot of guards like that that play with so much confidence and just go out there and hoop. And it's a it's great sight to see, and I'm excited to see what the future holds for, uh, for guards. Any more? Okay. All right, student athletes, thank you so much for your time and good thank luck. You.